Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm just going to read. Uh, this is the counts, and today is Monday, March 15, 2021. So out of respect for public health and in response to the governor's declared state of emergency, this meeting will be closed to the public and interested parties can instead access the deliberations via live stream on Brockton Channels Live. This meeting is being held in accordance with the Governor Charlie's Baker signed open meeting law dated March 12, 2020, which relieves a public body from requirement of section 20 of chapter 30A that it conducts its meeting in a public place that is open and physically accessible to the public, provided that the public body makes provision to ensure public access to the deliberations of the public body for interest in members of the public through adequate alternative means. And today we're going to review accounts payables B21-89 and B21-92, but we should probably start with B21-89 if anyone has questions on that. Who's gonna go first? If you are ready, um, Councilor Nicastro, by all means lead the way. Okay, thank you. Okay, so P21-089. Uh, let's see, what's my first one? Page 17. about a third of the way down the, the, the uh, page. The name is Fernandes, Gregory. And there's several of these. The account description is OPR 2415R other expense. And there are, that's been used on some others of these in here, but this was the first one I saw. So I just wondered, what is this for? This is for the school department and their mentors that they um, hire as consultants to come in. What do they do? Um, it, each one of them has, um, a lot of them right now are doing mentoring for um, any of the kids that are having issues with the COVID and being stuck inside. It's mostly for kids, um, phrase this the right way, um, Kids who ha or have anxiety, um, who have um, different types of, um, I'm not sure, I don't want to say handicap, but you know, um, that they need a little extra help. They need extra help coping. Yes. Or with school and stuff. Yeah. It, okay. yeah, some of them are for, you know, to help with the studies. Okay. Do you have any idea of how many mentors there are? I off the top of my head, I know of three. Okay. Okay. Are, are they, I'm just wondering, are they, is it month to month? Is it an hourly? Like, what is it? Do they have, have a, usually they sign a contract um, with an amount that they can spend up to. Okay. Thanks, Anne Marie. We You're didn't welcome. even have to research that. No, that one I knew. <laughs> okay. And then on page 20. Actually, that's the same thing. Richard Herman, yes, he's. The, is it Richard? Oh no, oh, uh, no. below him, below him. The next entry under Richard yeah. Herman, and that's the same thing, right? Yes. Okay. And then I have. Let me see. Page 37, Plymouth County Sheriff's Office. The account description is ADM 4130U contract services. That one actually looks like a police detail. 
Sometimes okay. we um, use the sheriff's office if we need more help. Okay. And then on page 38, real estate research consultants. And the account description is simply consultants. That's the assessor's office. And they probably are part of the group that is doing the assessments for the um, properties in the city. Okay. I can verify that tomorrow. Okay, and let me know, let us know. Yes, I'll send out an email. Okay, and then on page 44, the first full entry, trustees of Boston College. And the description is CUR 2358R Kerr Project Other. Yeah, it's and curriculum, it's um, but I'm not sure that's a school bill. I will have to look that one up. Okay. That looks like a full-time semester's tuition. It could be, but yeah. It does say curriculum, but I'll look, I'll look it up and um, send an email out to you. Okay. And then the one immediately under it, Dr. Jeff Turley. He's the, um, the doctor for the um, school department for the sports. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm mistaken on that one. He's the one, he's, um, um, Jeff Turley, no, he has, he does pay, um, patient, he sees kids that are in the um, full-time in school, um, the kids that have to go to special schools, I believe, and he does the um, consultants with the kids, almost like a, um, I don't know if he's a psychiatrist or a therapist, um, but he works with the children. Okay, it almost, um, it almost looks like a monthly charge that's the same. Yes. Maybe a retainer. He's, he's on contract for the year to work with these children. Okay. The yearly contract. Okay, thank you. And let me see, do I have anything else? That's it on that warrant. Thanks, Anne-Marie. You're welcome. Councilor Thompson, do you have anything on that warrant? Yeah, I, I just saw two things that caught my attention. I just wanted out some further information. Uh, so this would be page... page uh, three. Um, I, I just don't, I, I'm not 100% familiar with all the um, account codes. So I'm looking at um, the Amoresco. Um, it looks like it's uh, almost a $400,000 payment for building grounds repair. Uh, which that is, that's public property and that, they're doing the work up at the Shaw Center. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is reimbursable under the uh, COVID CARES Act. I don't know if this particular bill is. Um, a lot of the repairs that they're doing up there is covered under the CARES Act, but we had them prior to that to do some of the other repairs. Okay. All right. So this may or may not be related. Correct. Okay. But it's the same project. And then um, page four. The, the Aquaria payment, uh, the fixed charge, mm -hmm. is, that, is that a quarterly payment or um, how, is that quarterly, monthly? I believe it's monthly, Jeff, monthly. Councilor Thompson. That's fine. Um, okay, that's, I just want to know, because I don't recognize, I don't know if I recognize that on other, on other warrants, but maybe we just skipped over it. Um, but that's a monthly charge. Yowza. 
<laughs> I, I had that same question too, so I'm glad you brought it up because I was going to ask if that was like quarterly, how often we make those payments. Uh, it breaks my heart to see those that, that number. It's a very high number. But sure is. Yeah. Okay, so I had a question also on page three, which is, um, it says 9300 tuition Amigo Incorporation. So, and then it's 144,000 and then year to date 316,000. What is that for? That's tuition for a child to go to that school. Wow. Okay. It's under the special needs, um, the SPED department. Mm -hmm. And how it says over under count description, tuition SPED. Mm -hmm. Yes. That money is reimbursable by the state or we just, it just comes out of our funds. It's a lot of money that we pay for. I don't know that the percentage, we do get refunded some of the money, but I don't know the percentage on that. Okay. And then on next page uh, four, it says athletics equipment and uh, David Ayot, $8,440. Is this for sports also school related? It's school related and it says athletic equipment. He might be one of the, um, the coaches, um, but I, I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look that one up. Okay. And then uh, I, I believe this one would already answer my question because this one is also, it's on page seven, another tuition said, which is Boston Public Schools. And that one is 70,000 year to date, but then it will be the same thing as the other one, which is- Yes, it is. Special. Yeah, okay. Already answers my question for that one. Yeah, one of the questions I had was on the same thing. Now, uh, down on page seven, Brockton area workforce investment, 68,000. Is this a program we have? Yeah, it's a grant um, through the mayor's office. I'm not sure what we're paying, but it's it's a grant and it's it's out of the mayor's office. It's possible that could have something to do with CARES Act because I know they're doing CARES Act. It wouldn't be work. out of the grant though, Councilor Castro. Okay. Okay, uh, then on page eight, I'm assuming this is probably it says BSN Sports Inc., which is athletic non PR and then athletics equipment, 350,000 year to day invoiced. A lot of money. I will look that one up also. Okay. And then. The gasoline right underneath, uh, Dennis, Dennis Burke, which is 223,000. This is uh, what we paid for the cars that we have on the road for gas, or is this something else? This, no, this is the gas that we um, supply for the, all the um, city vehicles. Okay. And it's monitored over the gas pumps. They have to have a, a card and a number to punch in to fill their tanks. Okay. That way we keep control. Correct. And then right underneath David Caffrey, uh, contract services, $8,260. That is another school one. Okay. Would this also be a, a mentor, like you had explained that they had some mentors or? Oh, um, contractual services at our admin. So he's 
This one doesn't sound like it's a COVID um, CARES Act mentor, um, but we have we have a lot of mentors that come in for different purposes. So it could be, um, we have some that come in and help with the teaching when we over at the, um, for the high school students, they'll come in and help out. But I can look that one up and um, double check for you. Okay, thank you. And then on page 10, it says consultants, and it's six hundred thirty-five thousand dollars year to date, and then year to date paid is nine twenty-three thousand. CDM Smith. That's water and sewer, and they do a lot of um, work, the projects for the roads, and um, they also help out with the pipes. Okay. And that's, they that's contractual also, too. They were also the consultants who were um, reviewing all the, the uh, RFP applications to run the wastewater treatment plant. They were doing a lot of analysis for us of the four or five applications we received. Very good work, very yeah. specialized. They do a lot for us, they're really good. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's all my questions for that one. So now we can move on to P2192. Councilor Nicastro, would you like to start? Okay, uh, okay so first one is page six. The first full entry, Brockton Agricultural Society. And the account description is departmental equipment rental. That is the highway department. Um, but I'm not sure on that one. I, I know that in the past they've done um, I don't know if it if it was booked as Brockton Agricultural or as Kearney, but they've done uh, snow plowing for us. But that's usually not what it's, this says. yeah, it's not usually under departmental equipment. We have a special line item for that one, right? Right. Um, so that's why I'd like to know. But it could be um, for rent for the um, salt shed. So I'll have to look that up. Salt shed is on the fairgrounds. It used to be, and um, I think they still have a um, a shed out there that we hold the salt in. Okay, will you let me know? Yes, of course. Okay, and then let's see what's next. Page eleven, the second one down, Dandel Construction Inc., and it just says other contractual services. But the amount is big, 36,000, and the year to date invoiced is just under um, 100,000. That is for the work over at the senior center. The parking lot. Oh, wow. Parking lots are big business. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then page 14. Bus and O'Neill. It just says consultants. That is another grant under the mayor's office. Um, those particular consultants um, did a big study for us that actually is on our, our uh, dance card for tonight's finance committee meeting. Mm -hmm. They were studying um, flooding in the city. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if that if that corresponds to this, but I would like to know. Yes, I will get that information. Okay. Um, and then... I 
have page 24. It's the first full entry, Mendez, Common, Deladier. And the description is court judgment. Thunder, yeah, I came through the law office. I'm not sure um, what the court judgment was on. Can you see what you can find out? Certainly. Thank you. And then page 29, I again have Plymouth County Sheriff's Office. That's the police, so that is probably another um, detail. Detail, okay. And then page 33, Sprint Nextel Communications. And the account description is snow removal. So yes. boy, those telephone people, they do everything. Yes, no, that's the GPSs that we, we um, put into the vehicles during the snowstorms. So anyone we hire, I believe gets a uh, GPS. Okay, and then they have to give it back? Yes. Okay. So we only pay that bill seasonal during the winter when we have them activated. Okay, and then on pages 34 and 35, there's a very long entry for T.L. Edwards, a lot of invoices. But over on page 35, the last several are paving and paving yes. supplies. And they were invoiced in February. And so the reason I'm questioning them is you don't, we don't pave in the winter time. No, but T.L. Edwards is very... Um... Um, they're very late in invoicing us. Those were most likely from August, September, and um, October. Okay. They're you just ones take... that we're, they take forever to invoice us. Wow. Yeah. Can you just take a peek, peek and make sure that's it? I definitely will. Thank you. Um, and then my last one. I'm not going to ask my last one. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Councilor Thompson, do you have questions? So um, I was uh, following along when uh, Councilor Nicastro was uh, asking her questions. A, a lot of those uh, mimicked my own. Um, I don't. I don't really have anything uh, outside of uh, what was already asked. Yes, and then I wanted to know on page seven, there's more court judgments. So for James uh, Brunette, I wanted to also find out what those are for from the legal. Okay. And then page eight, uh, Robert Cataldo, which is um, ADM 4130 contract services for 20,000. Yes, he's another one of our, the school hired um, to come in and work with the kids. Mm -hmm. He's a yearly contract. And then a little bit on the top of that for uh, CAM, HVAC, the In Construction Inc., which is 326000 And then year to date paid is 372000 They work for this. The school department hires them to come in and do work on the HVACs. Okay. And the heating. Yeah.
I think that's it. No further questions. Councilor Mendez, on these um, POs, I know I said I'd get back to you guys tomorrow. Is that the way you want it um, for me to email you after the meeting or do you want to wait until the next meeting? That's a good question. I think that if we wait to the next meeting and then start by answering the questions we had from the previous meeting, that way at least the public whoever is watching will be able to follow get up the answers. Questions. Yes, and get the okay. answers. So that will right. be good if we can have them. You can always email us if you want to, but I think it's good to go back on the next meeting and just go back and answer sure. those questions and then we can start on the new ones. That'll be good. Okay. And if there's more questions, we are adjourned. Do you um, want to schedule was... another meeting? Yes. Um, Councilor Nick Castle, would you were you going to say something? No, I was waving goodbye. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you already you already ahead. So I think with the second finance uh, meeting of every month, would that work? Then that way we can plan it for the second in April, which that would be April nineteenth. Well, that's a holiday, so it'd be the twentieth. Okay, oh. April twentieth. April twentieth. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Does that look right? Yes. Because the first one's the fifth. Okay, so. Our next meeting will be April 20th at 5.30 via Zoom. Okay.